Hello middle schoolers and welcome to another video. Today we are going to be discussing how to post comments to Google Classroom. We spend a lot of time in Google Classroom daily and that's where you're going to get information from me and also give me information in lots of ways and comments is one of those ways. I'm going to show you the correct ways we're going to be using Google Classroom this school year. All right, we'll first talk about posting to the stream. We already mentioned this a little bit, uh, but the stream is there just for you to make class comments about class, science class, things going on, uh, possibly school related, but that is it. Uh, it is not anything that you wouldn't say to me or it into class. So keep in mind, this is not your social media feed, but this is just a way for you to ask questions about what's going on uh, at, at school or when assignments are due uh, and, and things like that. Um, so just keep in mind they are for the whole class. Um, they need to build class or school and I'm not going to respond to them most likely. I might see them, but I probably won't because I won't be really checking it. Uh, so these are just kind of random uh, questions about tests, um, if it's A, B, A or B day, um, and other students may, may see and be able to, to comment on this. So the stream is not something we're going to use a whole lot. All right, class comments. A class comment is a comment that is inside of an assignment or a post on Google Classroom. So you notice right here, this was an assignment uh, that we had. And you'll notice that we had a student here made a comment that just helped other students. They, they said it's easier to do this if you take a, a pet photo and transfer it from your phone uh, with a charging cable rather than just posting it uh, through an app. So this was just a hint that a student could help the rest of the class. All right, that was a fantastic. This is not a place to ask me questions. All right, this is a part of, of something you're saying to the whole class, uh, especially for things that might help other students, uh, might help them to complete the activity. All right, uh, is, is the best way to do that. And that is for a class comment. All right, and then if you click on view assignment, this is where you can kind of see where what it would look like. All right, and our last one are private comments. These are ones gonna be more important for you. This is where you're gonna send me, Mr. Cook, a specific question about something that's going on. All right, these are private comments. I can only see them, and when I respond to them, only you can see them. These come to my email. So I will, I will definitely see them, I will be checking them. And it's just a great way to get specific questions, right? Make sure that you're doing a private comment. It's about this assignment. So this student here uh, asked a question about this specific question, this specific assignment, and I gave a specific answer. And if you look here, if you click um, on the assignment, you can see on the bottom right-hand corner, there'll be a spot for you to, to post a private comment. That's just gonna come to, uh, to your teacher. You notice your class comments right here. If you want it just for Mr. Cook, right you want to put it right uh right here and i will always respond to those as as well these are the ways we are going to be using comments on google classroom you obviously can always send an email or send a remind message to me as well um, and this is if you can look over this is just a quick review all right about um, how and when to use uh use these comments so I look forward to seeing your work and hearing from you and working working with you